we're going to have a look now at another GPS option to get really accurate race lines for your uh, your performance here. Right. So we're looking now at the SkyPro X GPS 160. Mm -hmm. Really nice, accurate GPS. Bluetooth to the phone. Yep. So again, what we want to do is give the GPS device the best chance of getting a nice, accurate location. Right. So we're going to put this uh, with as maximum view of the sky. So in this case, we're going to put it uh, in the windscreen, yep. just inside the windscreen on the dash. Uh, something like this, you could also mount on the roof of the car or on the bonnet if you have a, a suitable securing mechanism. Yep. But uh, for the sake of you going out on the track shortly, yep. we're just going to put it here uh, on the dash. Comes with a nice rubber mounting to put it in, which we've affixed to the dashboard. So the device just simply slots in there. The better the data, the better the results, yep. the better the coaching yep. you're going to get. Yep. Right. So you put rubbish in, you'll get rubbish out. You put the good in, you'll get the good out. Exactly. Let's take a closer look at how to connect Bluetooth GPS devices like the Garmin Glow 2 or the Dual SkyPro XGPS 160 to my race lab. First, the Apple iPhone. All we need to do is pair the device to the iPhone in Bluetooth settings. Check the manufacturer's instructions on how to do this. Once it is paired, open my race lab and tap record. The Bluetooth GPS will simply show up as internal GPS on the My Race Lab recording screen. Next up, let's see how to connect the Bluetooth GPS devices like Garmin Glow 2 or the Dual SkyPro XGPS 160 to My Race Lab on an Android phone. First thing to do is to pair the device to your Android phone in Bluetooth settings. Check the manufacturer's instructions on how to do this. Once it is paired, open the My Race Lab app and go to Menu. Settings, Devices and Sensors, Bluetooth Devices, and then tap on the plus next to GPS Devices. Select the specific GPS device you have, and when your device shows up in the list, tap it to add. You can also check the connection to make sure the devices are linked. The green dot next to the device name lets you know it's connected. Enable the GPS device logging with the slider. When you go to record a session in My Race Lab, you will see the GPS device listed in the external device tile, which will turn green when it has connected. A couple of final tech tips when using any GPS receiver. Make sure the GPS has a clear view of the sky by mounting it on the roof, the dash, or somewhere where it is not blocked by metal surfaces. Depending on how long the GPS has been off for, the process of locating satellite signals can take a minute or two. We recommend leaving the GPS on for a few minutes before your first session of the day, and check that the GPS signal indicator on the device confirms that it has a good signal. Check your manufacturer's instructions for how this is shown on your device. This will give you the best possible race line and speed recording accuracy in my race lab.